All right, my god team, welcome back to my channel, guys. Thanks for tuning into today's video. We're going to go ahead and talk about two separate things on the Bitcoin chart today, which are quite important, one of, of significant importance, and one which is going to kind of tell us where the price is heading on the shorter term, which could lead to that larger term extension. So, what are these two things? Firstly, number one is this 140 day long diagonal trend line, which we've actually just come up and retested. You can go ahead and see it over here, matching his trend lines up. We've just retested the top of our trend line for the third time. And the most recent time was on the 14th of October. We had the 13th of September. Again, we had on the 6th of June, and now we are having that on the 17th of October. We've retested this downward sloping trend line once again. And this downward sloping trend line, guys, if it does break, Bitcoin will see a very strong move upwards. The second thing is on the short time frame, and this downward sloping trend line over here is that same downward sloping trend line. Just keep in mind, on the short time frame, we do have a bullish pen formation actually developing right below that trend line, with that trend line actually being that upper resistance of that bullish pen. So this could indicate we are potentially going to see a break above this trend line, and we're going to discuss that today. That's the concept of today's video. Where will Bitcoin go if we go above that trend line? What can we expect? And what could happen if we go lower? That's what we're talking about today. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first and foremost, the absolute short time frame. if we go ahead and take a measured move from here, the measured move breakout target would take us up to about 19,800-ish. And we already know 19,800 is a major horizontal resistance. So we go to a four hour chart, we can see this. And this is our chart over here, actually we'll go one hour. And we already know for the viewers watching this channel, these lines represent horizontal supports and resistances. We know 1,800 is a major, major level of confluence on the chart, a major level of horizontal resistance. Actually, in fact, 19,800 is a major trigger point for the next move upwards, meaning if the price can get above 19,800, we will see a very strong move upwards with into this range next, okay? On the downside, guys, we do have our uptrending support of our um, rising channel. Losing that will trigger a move back downwards, of course. So we're keeping our eye on that trend line. Of course, if you're any longs at the moment, losing that trend line would be a pretty good trigger for potentially looking to de-risk or close out any long positions. Until then, we're looking to take some positions around about this level. We obviously have that short-term bullish structure. And we are looking like we are potentially going to try break to the upside of this pattern. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. So we've talked about this a lot already. What happens if we break upwards here? We'll be heading up into this range. Now, this range here is the most important trigger on the chart for any potential bullish price action. This range between 20,272 and 20,454 is the key bullish trigger. We do need to actually break above to see any significant move to the upside. Um, if we're talking about macro um, price directions or macro swings, we will need to see that level break. If we go ahead and take a look at this chart, this is a very, very telling chart. A break above that $20,000 level, it's 20000 20500 level, will potentially enable us to move back into this range, which has been 22500 to 24000 A very, very strong resistance point. Obviously, 19000 is major, major support as well right now. Losing that uptrending support line of that diagonal could potentially send us back down to that 17600 level, provided Bitcoin loses this 18400 so if we go ahead and zoom out, guys, the two most important levels on the chart, eliminate these diagonals, eliminate everything else. The two most important levels on the chart is this red line up here and this red line down here. These will decide what's going to happen. Everything else between is a horizontal range, okay? Bouncing between, indecision, bouncing between. We've seen it for, for the last four weeks. If we break above this level, we are going into a very, very bullish swing or impulse upwards. If we break below this level, that would be confirmation we're heading back down to 17,600. And we've been talking about this for a very, very long time now. we we'll say it every single week, almost every single video, to watch these levels. Importantly as well, watch these other horizontal levels indicated on the chart. So 19,800, 19,467, 
and then this horizontal range between here, 19,000, uh, 18,600, uh, 700 to 18,800. All of these levels are very important to tell us where the price will be heading on the short term. So keep an eye guys, I wanted to keep today's video nice and short. Um, obviously the short term bullish structure, we are looking to see what happens here. If we do break to the upside over here, of course that's gonna be bullish. We would like to see a push higher than these highs. So getting over this point here would be ideal. Obviously that point there lines up with that diagonal trending resistance. Anything over 19,600 will be a confirmation that we are more than likely, you know, significantly more than likely heading up to about 19,800 where we will meet that next resistance, make that next decision. Are we going up? Are we going down? Are we gonna find resistance? Are we gonna trigger move upwards into that 20K region, guys? Okay, wanted to keep today's video nice and short and sharp. I hope everyone has a great rest of the day and we'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Cheers. So we're going to quickly have a discussion about BitGet. Now, if you follow the channel, if you're on our Telegram, if you're on our Twitter, if you like the content, enjoy the videos and just find what we do informative and beneficial, go ahead and support the channel by clicking the sign up link to BitGet and trade where I trade. Now, there's about 10 different good reasons why I'm suggesting BitGet. And obviously, I've made the, tr I've made the swap from Binance to BitGet close to a year ago now. Last year in September, I decided to go to BitGet and trade on BitGet. And I'm gonna go through the reasons why you should actually come over and trade on BitGet too. So first and foremost, guys, if you like spot trading, obviously 0% trading fees on spot. They've got over 260 coins here. Basically every popular coin you can think of is on BitGet. Uh, basically all the coins on Binance you can find on BitGet. Another really good thing is it is global access, meaning there's no global restriction on who can sign up. Doesn't matter what country you're in, where you're from, you can start to pick it. And the reason they can do that is because they do no KYC. KYC on this exchange is completely optional. If you want to trade on a decentralized exchange where you don't have to sign up, you don't have to have your government information in there, this is where you want to be, completely decentralized. Another really good thing is they obviously have very low trading fees for futures. It's around 0.02%. Now they have around 60 to 70 different trading pairs on futures and they're adding more every couple of weeks. So it is steadily growing. They also have a security fund. So if the exchange ever gets hacked or you get hacked, you can actually request a refund or a compensation from the exchange. They have, I think it's like $80 million, or if not more, $800 million or something close to that in the security fund that actually pay out to their users if anything catastrophic happens. So obviously sign up the link, you'll get access to all of that, but there's a few beneficial and extra things you get access to if you sign up the link down below. You'll get access to the reward center. Now on the reward center is about five separate tasks and they're trading tasks. If you complete those tasks, you can make up to 4,163 US dollars just from actually trading. And the second thing is if you sign up with the partner link down below, you are actually registered underneath my partner account. And what that gives me availability to do is I can actually adjust your fee kickbacks depending on your trading volume. So you actually get paid to trade on BitGet. You'll get kickbacks based on this trading fees you use. For example, on the 3rd of October to the 10th of October, we are doing a running campaign where 10% of the fees you pay on BitGet, you actually receive as compensation as USDT directly to your account. These are some of the things I can do. I can assess your trades, I can monitor your trades if you need advice. I can actually see what is going on. And obviously the fees are very, very small on BitGet. That being said, guys, um, that is all I want to talk about BitGet. If you want a more in-depth analysis and video about BitGet or how to leverage trade, go to our channel and click the video, how to trade on leverage, and we talk you through BitGet in a little bit more. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later.